Even I do not exist above tradition and duty, Rhaenyra! Excuse me, Your Grace. Yes. The Royal Huntsman has sent a report, Your Grace. There's been a sighting of a white heart. The stag is the king of the king's wood, Your Grace, a regal portent for Prince Aegon's name day. I best scout spied him. The beast is upward of 35 stone. Right. Before the dragons roared over Westeros, White Heart was the symbol of royalty in these lands. The Kingswood sits south of King's Landing, and it's presently part of both the Crownlands and the Stormlands. But before Aegon's conquest and the unification of the kingdoms of Westeros, except in Dorne, the forest was part of the domain of the Storm Kings of House Durandon whose sigil was a black crown stag on a field of gold. Both claimed, or usurped, depending on who is asked, by Oris Baratheon, the rumored bastard brother of Aegon the Dragon during the War of Conquest. To be Viserys I, a believer in this sort of thing, the sighting of the White Heart on his youngest child, but firstborn son's second name day, is both sweet and bitter. In his own words, not even he is about tradition and duty. He never thought he would remarry, let alone have a son, finally. Yet he named Rhaenyra his heir and commanded the Lord's Paramount to swear fealty to her by the All Gods and the New, in part to honor his late wife who died during childbirth, but mainly to keep Daemon far away from the throne. Ten years you've been king, and yet not once have you asked me to be your hand. Why would I do that? Because I'm your brother. However, now that his grace has sired a male, things must surely change. At least that's what everyone, including Rhaenyra, sees as plain as day. The only one who doesn't is the king himself. Castle Rock is a splendid seat. Rhaenyra may take her place there by my side without shame and feel herself well compensated for her loss in station. What loss of station? I had assumed, as is your firstborn son, many of us had assumed... Have your banner men questioned my choice of them? Was he wrong in naming her? Surely the gods must have an answer. When the hunt comes to an end and the king comes face to face with the alleged regal portent that is not a white stag, it is hard to tell if what he feels is relief or grief. It's easier to tell on others. Now, if this is what this beast really means, the gods did show favor to a Targaryen heir that day, one that did not repay that favor with blood nor fire. But to be serious, all of this would be unknown. To us watchers, the white heart is for sure the sign of validation on the king's choice of heir. But we would be remiss not to further question what Viserys may make of these symbols. Could the stag represent to him his own kinship, regal only to men, but not so much to the gods, with his claim to the throne being lesser than that of Rhaenys? the queen that never was, by him being the child of a fourth son instead of the daughter of a third. If not, then why, now that history repeats itself, would he insist on keeping Rhaenyra as heir over the babe Aegon? Could the failed first strike on the stack represent the choice of heir, failed on the first try, but certain on a second, or simply an omen? on how good Lannister aid will work for Targaryens? Or could the fatal second strike on the stag, which Viserys delivers with eyes closed and seemingly hoping for the best, foreshadow how he will double down on having Rhaenyra as Princess of Dragonstone, while all the realm looks on uncertain? Probably none of the above. Most times, the most likely meaning is certain to be the accurate, Whiteheart means Rhaenyra is the right choice for the throne. <laughs> but that's most times. And this is Westeros after all. Balar Tohairis.